Whether you're looking to sell your Mac, give it to a friend, or you're just longing for that new Mac feel, wiping your computer and reinstalling macOS is a great way to get your Mac to the state it was when you first opened it out of the box. It's pretty easy to wipe this thing and get everything reinstalled with a fresh copy of macOS, and the whole process takes about 20 to 30 minutes depending on your internet connection. I'm Robert Rosenfeld of the Apple Circle, and here's how to do it. First, start by making sure you have a backup of your data, whether it be through Time Machine or all your important photos, videos, and files are on iCloud Drive or another backup solution. Just make sure all your files are safe and secure because once we wipe the drive on the Mac, there is no getting that data back. Next, you wanna restart your Mac into recovery mode. To do this, restart your computer, and while the screen is black, press and hold on the Command and R key simultaneously until you see that Apple logo appear, then you can let go of those keys. It may take a minute or two to boot into recovery mode, so just give it a minute and you should see a screen shortly. So first things first, we wanna enter Disk Utility and actually erase the drive that is in this Mac right now. So we're gonna open up Disk Utility here by clicking Continue. You're going to want to select the disk you wanna format from the list on the left-hand side. In most cases, it's gonna be called Macintosh HD. With the drive highlighted, click the Erase button. You'll have the option to rename the drive if you want to at this point as well. Select APFS from the formats list, go ahead and click erase, and after about 10 seconds, you should see a green check, which means the erase was complete and you're good to move on. Now that the drive is formatted, we wanna reinstall macOS onto our newly erased drive. Simply close out of that utility menu and then select reinstall macOS from the list and continue past the first screen. You'll wanna carefully read the end user license agreement and agree to the terms and conditions. Next, select the drive to reinstall the operating system onto, which should just be the one and only choice, Macintosh HD. Your Mac will now go ahead and download the latest version of Mac OS to install from the internet, and this process again will take 20 to 30 minutes depending on the speed of your connection. Once it's done, the machine will reboot and you'll enter into the setup portion of Mac OS. And here you'll have the option to either set up the machine as a brand new Mac, or also the option to restore from a Time Machine backup. And it's that simple. You can do this every time a new version of Mac OS is released in the fall to give yourself sort of a fresh start on your Mac or just to get you back to the stock configuration whenever you feel like doing so. I'm Robert Rosenfeld from the Apple Circle. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also leave a comment down below and let us know what you guys would like to see next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.